How's it going guys, Sezo here. So today's video will be rather short and different than my other videos. As you already see, I'm in Valorant and um, I'm playing Cypher. So basically in today's video I'll be showing you guys how to play Cypher on Haven Garage. So first of all I'll show you guys the setup that I will be sharing with you guys today. So starting off we have the cage above garage window, which will give you a nice little one way into the hole of garage pretty much. And the only point where they can really see you is um, from the tripwire there, which obviously pairs up pretty nicely because if they go up to the tripwire, then they will get stuck in and then you can just kill them easily. The second cage is above the double doors on this little ledge, and it also gives you a nice one way into the double doors. Um, no one's gonna push through this. If they will, then that's an easy kill for you because you can see their legs and they can't see a single thing. Then for the trips, uh, you already saw this one. This trip is uh, in the middle of garage. And then we have the next one, which is um, at the entrance to seaside from garage. And the camera is just, um, just a simple camera on the left side uh, of garage on the wall. Uh, as you can see, you can see the whole of garage. You can see a bit of outside. And you can see into garage window a little bit into sea. And yeah, just a very good camera in general. So basically how you want to be playing a cypher in garage is behind these walls pretty much all the time. Unless you're activating this cage and fighting uh, the guys with double doors. But other than that you'll just want to be playing behind these walls and play for your trips and then you can wall bang them once they get stuck in it. So ideally what you want to do is um, if they start pushing into garage or like try to go inside, you pop this cage, spray them, maybe get a kill. If not then it's alright obviously, just get some chip damage, then go to either side of the wall and then you'll just want to be playing the waiting game. You'll want to wait until they get hit by the, uh, tri by the tripwire. And once I do, you'll be able to see them through the wall and you can just spam them very easily. After your trip is gone and you still hear more people uh, pushing into garage, you just pop this one. And you can just spray these guys here, shooting at you an easy kill or two. Then you go back to the other side, reposition, use your camera. And um, yeah, if you see someone tag them, maybe get an easy kill. But most likely you'll just scare them off rather than killing them because um, the camera pings are not live pings, they're just like, uh, they show you where the enemies are every other second. But still, if you're lucky, you might also get a kill with that. And then once all of your utility is gone, you'll ideally have a kill or two, you're still alive, and uh, have the enemies probably go to a different site, because they will not go garage anytime soon. Now this setup is very good in, um, like, low diamond and below. Like, people won't really know what to do against this. What they'll probably try to do is smoke you off or something. Maybe ult you with a brimstone ult or something. Probably won't know how to counter this as well or as fast as they would in, um, like, close to Immortal or above. This is where that um, strat might not be the best for, like, the whole game. Because obviously, like, at Immortal, you want to, like, switch up your game a lot. You don't want to do the same thing over and over again because, yeah, players in Immortal or above are obviously better and they will know how to counter this, um, very fast. After like 2-3 rounds, they'll figure it out and they'll probably just start throwing like ray satchels uh, at the spots where you have your trips. Or they will just have the jet dash through it or they'll just spam it. But yeah, if you're like low diamond to like low, like plat or whatever, then this will be great for you. Um, I guarantee you this will uh, this will net you some easy multi kills and they will not want to go garage anytime soon while you are alive. So now I'll show you guys how to throw these traps and uh, trips. So first thing you would want to do is go into this corner in garage, aim at this light bulb and you simply throw your cage. It will land perfectly on that ledge at the top and yeah, that's pretty much it for that cage. Next up you will want to look at the floor of this carpet and uh, you'll, you'll see these green triangles. You want to go to the one that's the closest to the middle of the window, which is this one here. Line up at the tip of the triangle, stand up. And then you will still have a barrier here when you're obviously like starting off. So what you will want to do first is um, place these traps here. So if you have a uh, Ray's on the enemy team and she likes to uh, Roomba a lot into the garage, then obviously you will want to move the traps up because the Roomba will activate the traps and basically waste them for you. So yeah, depending on the matchup, you'll want to move them up and down. But just for the sake of the tutorial, I'll just leave them on the floor here. So you will obviously want to throw them here at the bottom. And once you have these traps done, you'll have like 10 seconds left in the round. So you want to throw your camera right here, that's like where the border is basically. So you throw it there and you have like around 6 seconds left once you throw the camera. So to throw the last cage you will see these two beams here at the roof. You will want to aim in between them and then aim at the middle of this beam. Right where these two meet. So you want to go here and then in the middle of this one. Just throw your cage when the barrier goes away and yeah, that's pretty much it. So now I'll show you guys how to do this in a live game with no uh, time frozen. So yeah, obviously like run straight to garage. 
We'll then go into the corner here, throw your cage, look at the uh, tip of the triangle, stand up, place your trips, place your camera, and then look right here where I told you. Okay, let's get set up. Wait until the barrier goes away. Throw it now. And that's pretty much how it goes. And it's as simple as that. So if you guys enjoyed this video, then make sure to leave a like and subscribe, as well as comment down below what you would like to see next. Maybe you'd like to see Cypher on a different map or maybe a different spot on Haven. Um, up to you guys. Just um, comment down below and I'll try to do it as soon as possible. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.